Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Click on the Apple logo and then your second option will say System Preferences. Now I just want to highlight that before we used to make all our updates under the App Store. So we would see them all there. However, now we do them under System Preferences. So if you guys don't see them there, maybe your Mac, it's a little bit older and your updates are still under the App Store. Anyways, for now we're just going to click on System Preferences. Once we click on System Preferences, on our left hand side, third option down here below, it will say Software Update. Click on Software Update. Once we click on Software Update, we should see something like this. We can always click on More Info, or on the top right hand side, it's going to say Update Now. So this update is about 3 gigs. Let me just click on More Info so you can see that. And it should tell us that, yeah, almost about 3 gigs. And here it tells you just a little bit about the update itself. We can always click for more detailed information down here below. But anyways, right now, let's just click on Install Now. Now, before we run any updates, make sure to always have a backup of your Mac. Right now, we're just going to click on Agree. And it's going to download. So the downloading process, well, that depends on your internet speed. However, the installation depends on how old or new your Mac is. So faster Macs will just do the update a little bit faster. Older Macs will take a little bit longer. Again, the downloading process does all depend on your internet speed. So if you guys have really fast internet speed, then this should download in just a couple seconds. And you can always speed this thing up if you're using Ethernet cable versus Wi-Fi, for example. Now, since this is downloading, I just want to talk about the backup that I always recommend making. So what I run myself is Time Machine. So I do have Time Machine set up here. It's something that's already built into your Mac. And what I do is always backup now. This backs up your entire Mac. So that way, if anything bad happens, so let's say if it all of a sudden turns off when it's installing the update on your Mac and it just doesn't want to turn on back again. <laughs> You're stuck in a black screen or something like that. Well, you do have that backup and you can load everything back into your Mac. Now, those things don't happen frequently, but they can happen. So that's why I always recommend making that backup. I'm just going to show you right here under System Preferences, Time Machine. So it's down here below, and this is Time Machine. Time Machine we use with an external hard drive, for example. So I already have videos how to set that up and how to use Time Machine, but I highly, highly recommend using Time Machine if you're not already doing so, and always make that backup before you run any, any updates. Right now, we're just gonna wait for this to be done. It's almost there, we only have 10 more seconds to go, and then we just click on install. Then, it's gonna restart, we're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, it's gonna restart again, and then that's about it. So at this point, you could've left your Mac and then would it restart by itself, or you can press restart yourself on the top right hand corner of your screen right here on this window. Just press restart now. So after a few minutes, our Mac would just restart. As mentioned, we will see that Apple logo loading bar and that would be it. Your Mac would just turn them back on. We should see this popping out right away where it's telling you that you are all up to date. So you can close this up and keep working away. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.